So people are used to it. So people are not able to control by any authority, any government. It is completely decentralized money. So it is open to everyone. Everyone can use it. So the main drawback with the blockchain technology is if we have less than the users, so the security is going to be very weak. Because the database, the database is stored at one place. If we have the one member, one user to store the one, if we are storing blockchain, if we are storing data at one particular place, we block it. So it is going to be very easy of to hack blockchain. So it is going to be transparent. So more security is equal to increase the Bitcoin value. More participants is equal to more security. So if we have the security, then users show the interest to even money, then automatically the Bitcoin value will increase. So challenges and difficulties and limitations in blockchain technology and the conviction. So yes, all the lot of users are hacked. A lot of users are acting in a blockchain environment. So the anti conviction will be more and scalable. Any other center? So if you have less number of users, the security will be going to be very weak. So personal responsibility. So we have the user. If you don't have any type of user, there is going to be completely lost of data. So money laundering. With the help of Bitcoin, we can turn black money into white money. So we cannot trace the transaction. So if we start, we can write individual data. We cannot see any type of malicious activities like cheating or creating of data or modification. It is open to everyone. Final conclusion. So blockchain is a blockchain is a new way of data management, like management data system, which helps the user to manage to manage the data from the malicious activities like cheating or modifying or creating the data. So it is the upcoming, it is a very fast moving technology.